Way back in Dragon Ball Z manga chapter 137, the new mysterious youth used an unusual key blast to combat Mecha Frieza. The key blast has never had an official name as all Trunks said was Frieza! when he fired it in the manga and the anime, but in the video games it was given the unofficial name Burning Attack. Future Trunks always shouts the phrase just before he fires it. We can only speculate why. Burning Attack! Perhaps a lot of heat builds up in his hands from the air resistance, or it's just something for marketing. But it does raise the question, why didn't Future Trunks name his attack and use the name in combat? Goku does it all the time, so we don't know why Trunks kept it silent. Maybe he just whispers it so his opponent can't hear. But many times in the anime, signature moves are repeatedly used, whereas most techniques are only used just once in the manga. Piccolo's Makanko Sapo, or Special Beam Cannon, is an example where he only used it actually in the manga against Raditz. In the manga, the fight between Frieza and Future Trunks is very short. All that happens is Trunks transforms, and Frieza fires a blast, which Trunks avoids. He then appears on the cliff, shouts Frieza's name, shoots the key blast, which the video games call Burning Attack, and then quickly appears above Frieza and slices him in half. The interesting thing was, in episode 120 only, in the Japanese they added in a line with Frieza saying, You challenge me with such a low level attack? Which could mean Future Trunks used this key blast as a means of distracting his opponent rather than doing fatal damage. But given Future Trunks' personality, he must have intended to kill Frieza and King Cold with this blast as it did require effort to perform. But Trunks may have actually thought up the backup plan to get behind Frieza and slice him, as he actually did. So for the sake of this video, we will call the unnamed key blast the Burning Attack. The Burning Attack itself is very unique to Future Trunks, as he does a series of hand signs before its release. This has led fans for years to question exactly what these hand signs mean. Unfortunately, we still don't have an official explanation, but there are two plausible explanations available. The first reason is that the hand movements must be needed to use the burning attack. It is a fast method of gathering ki, quickly releasing the blast at the opponent. It's similar to the Kamehameha, as both techniques use different hand motions to gather ki. You see, here's the thing, most ki blasts would look the same if the user didn't use hand motions to manipulate the ki to a specific format. Because Future Trunks only received limited training from Future Gohan, he doesn't have optimal methods for key control, so he developed his own way of building and releasing key blasts. If his father was alive to train him, Trunks' key techniques may have looked more like Vegeta's. To perfectly understand the purpose of the hand movements, we need to look at the manga. The movements are split into three sections, so they aren't just random hand signs. Trunks quickly repeats a three-move scheme. Firstly, a protection-like move, which focuses energy. Secondly, then taking his hands to opposite sides, which adds strength to his next move. Then thirdly, pushing his hands forward to expel the focused energy in front of his body. At this point, the energy he gathered is invisible, but it's concentrated several times over, and when he shot the burning attack, the concentrated energy in front of him became visible suddenly and fired at Frieza. Furthermore, there is a deeper meaning to these hand signs than even this, and according to Derek Padula, a Dragon Ball scholar, they are a big part of martial arts. These hand signs are known as mudra, and can be seen when a Buddha places his hands above his shoulders back down to the waist and once again over the shoulders. Then Trunks ends it with a final mudra with his fingers connected together and the palms open. Interestingly, Tien does mudra before his techniques way back in the 22nd Tenkaichi Budokai, so these hand signs mean a lot more than just looking epic. Just as the burning attack is released, it could consist of several key fireballs which have been powered up by Future Trunks' protection and focusing hand motions. This produced a key blast with huge explosive damage potential, and it is similar to his father's Big Bang attack against Android 19. The burning attack isn't a homing key blast, as it didn't lock onto Freezer because he was able to dodge, but it was tied to the initial targeted location. As I alluded to earlier, the second reason for the hand signs could be that Toriyama wanted to make the mysterious youthful super sign look even more mysterious. So he made Trunks use the hand motions before his signature attack. 
It was to make Trunks look dominant and intimidating, and it made the moment when he effortlessly destroyed Freezer all the more memorable. Toriyama was using the classic storytelling rule of cool principle. This is where something is included that doesn't make sense within the story's reality, but it's too cool not to include it. For each viewer, there is a different threshold for how they will react, but almost all Dragon Ball fans I've ever come across think Trunks' hand signs are badass. For once in his life, Future Trunks could outclass his foe, and he really enjoyed easily defeating Frieza and showing off his talent in style. I hope you enjoyed going in depth into the so called burning attack technique key blast. And I definitely want to hear your thoughts on the technique down in the comment section below. Definitely let me know whether you think Toriyama just made it to look cool or whether Toriyama intended for uh, future trunks to use the hand motions to actually perform the burning attack. Thanks, guys, for watching. And if you enjoyed it, please, Kaioken, that like button. And subscribe to expand your knowledge of Dragon Ball and get coverage of Super. So I'll see you in the next video, but until then, I challenge you to watch the following videos of mine. Alright? Cheers, guys. Kai Kai.